was a, there was a story recently about a, about a former German professional footballer who uh, he, he injured himself so badly doing a dive that he, uh, he, had, have, he, he had to have one of his testicles removed um, because his impact. And, and just, to, just, to, just to explain though, he did that diving off a three meter platform. Rhiannon dives off a 22 meter high platform. And the men dive off a, a 27 meter high platform. Oh which God. To, 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 to put that into, that, that's basically the same as like jumping off a skyscraper building. Skyscraper building. <laughs> <Metal -story> building. <laughs> yeah. and, and from that height, if you get it wrong, the, 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 the impact of the water, it becomes like concrete. You know, people can fracture their skulls, you know, they can break their arms, they can break their backs. It's literally a life or death activity if they get it wrong. And um, look, I've got to say, I, I, in Paris, I got a chance to sort of, what, you know, go along the, the, the platform to, to see, uh, see it myself. And oh, I, was, I was absolutely terrified because you're so exposed. It wobbles very slightly in the wind. So yeah, these people, they have, they're just, they just, I cannot explain how brave they are, not only just to, to dive to start with, but to perform these incredible tricks. Well, I have um, to say, yeah. Luke, just for you to be able to stand on the platform, that is way beyond what I could do. I mean, I just am not good with that sort of height. I couldn't even stand there, let alone dive. So what, well, does, what does Rhiannon say keeps her going? Well, th this is what, what I find so inspiring about Rhiannon and these cliff divers in general, to be honest, is that, uh, look, I think we've all had moments in our lives, whether it's, you know, in love or at work, or we've all had those moments when we've let, let fear hold us back, you know, when we've missed out on experiences or opportunities simply because we were too scared. And I think you might assume that these cliff divers, that they're, maybe they're just immune to fear, that they don't fear it, they don't feel it. Um, but this actually isn't true. You know, Rhiannon, when I interviewed her, she said, every time, before every dive, when she gets up on that platform, there's a little voice in her head saying, don't jump, don't jump. But like, wh whereas the rest of us, you know, we would, we would recoil from these sorts of situations. What makes Rhiannon and these cliff divers so impressive is that they don't let the fear hold them back. They find a way of confronting the fear, managing it, and going, going through with it. And that's why I reckon what these people do is, 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 so, is so incredible.